Are you looking at coming to a natural spring in the Tallahassee, Florida area? We are at Wakula Springs right now and I have to show you guys around because this place is so cool. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products and places we go to. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. We're here on a Tuesday. There's hardly anybody here. Uh, they do have this gift shop, but it's closed right now. I'm assuming it's because of COVID, but I did want to note that you can get some swimming stuff if you need in there. There is a men's bathroom here. I don't see anyone in here, but it's actually really nice. I really like the look of this bathroom. They have these cool sinks. They have the urinals here for the men. They have a few dressing rooms, and they also have some very nice clean toilets as well. So plenty of room to put down your stuff, hang dry things and whatnot on the hooks that are there. Very pleased with this bathroom whenever we came, but whenever you come out, you're coming through these archways here and this leads out to the spring out there, but that's not the only thing here. The women's is on that side, by the way, for all the moms out there. Um, but there's a little pavilion right here that you can utilize. There's actually a riverboat tour that you can do, and that's the little hut to get uh, to get to the riverboat tour. We'll pass by it. Um, it's not operating right now due to hashtag COVID, so we won't be able to take part in any of the riverboat stuff, but the whole spring this is the spring area right here they have two swimming platforms that you can swim out to and then there's this huge you can't see it, it's behind that tree right there we're going to go up to it because i jumped from it it's this huge two-story uh jumping platform that you can uh jump from it's about i think they said something like 20 feet tall and then like there's it's really really deep in the water right there super fun we came on a rainy, cloudy day, and the water is super cold. I want to say it was like 70 degrees is what I read online, but it feels even colder than that due to the fact that it was so rainy outside. But look, this is a good little view of it right here. So you have a nice, big, giant, grassy area right here, and then y'all can see all those kids up top on that platform right there. Um, that is the two-story platform that you can jump from and then of course they have two ladders that you can uh, get back up on and then they have over to the side they have a platform right here that you can swim out to if you want to have some fun over there and then they also have this other platform right here and they do have lifeguards on duty here at this spring which is super nice um, just in case you have kids around or whatever there's actually a really small area like a lot of this hmm, down there it's different but uh the shoreline here is like super super shallow actually this is really shallow right here so if you want you can bring like babies and whatnot to be able to just wade and play in the water which is super nice and it's, like i said it's really long too as well so there's a lot of room for a lot of people to enjoy it uh this over here is the riverboat i told you guys that i would show you guys that real quick uh, pe the snorkeling I bet is really good here. I think I read that somewhere I don't know what's actually in the water, but the water is like crystal clear You can see all the way down to the bottom of the water even like way out there where the where the buoys are and whatnot There's a few wildlife viewers if you want to uh, do some bird watching or if you want to just look out into the woods over there I think because of the cool water and how deep it is over there, there's, it makes like this mist between the sky and the water, which I thought was really cool. I don't know if that'll show up on camera, but it's really, really neat. Again, you can see all the sea plants down here, and this is where I think a lot of the good snorkeling would be. I bet there's a bunch of cool fish all up in there. These are the Wakula Springs uh, boats, the river boats that you can take, and there's a huge river that just kind of meanders all the way down there, so you can take a nice ride on a river boat if you want to do that as well so um so so far you have nice changing rooms you got the riverboat you got the springs you got the big diving thing the last thing here is that you can actually stay here there i don't know if i didn't get the history behind it but there's a lodge here where um you can you can stay and they i believe they have a restaurant there but they definitely have a soda fountain place you can go inside this building i'm gonna take you all there real quick it's obviously historic because it said that the ceiling was created in like 1937 and there were some artists that like painted the top of it or three artists that painted the top of it and it looks really amazing uh just depicting some of the wildlife and whatnot in the area there's also a ton of like hiking trails and all that type of stuff we just didn't get a chance to go and do all that while we were here because uh I was having fun jumping off of the 20 foot platform and uh, the kids had fun wading in the water uh, but uh inside before we did all that we went inside this lodge oh 
and this lodge has uh, the soda fountain area, like a gift shop slash old school soda fountain thing, and it has the world's longest marble slab countertop all throughout there, which I like roadside attractions and I thought that that was pretty cool. So, um, so that's one roadside attraction that you can come and see. It's only like six bucks per vehicle to get in here. Super cheap. That's one thing about Florida State Parks that's really nice is that it is really, really inexpensive to come and have like a good time for an entire day with as many friends and family that you want to bring along as long as you can cram them into one vehicle. I thought that that was super cool. So this is the lodge right here. We went to the Ponce de Leon State Park too and that one was even cheaper. But this is the lodge right here, a little floor mat. And you go on into here. This is like the lobby way here, the lobby area. And they have this beautiful parlor room. And these are those ceilings that I was telling y'all about. Y'all see that up there? All the wildlife and uh, depictions that these artists created. Look, there's a little plaque right here about it. If y'all want to pause the video, y'all can read that and learn a little bit more. But it's just a really, really beautiful area. And there's a, it looks like the restaurant is out that way. And then they have the guest services right there. And then this is the, um, this is the soda fountain place that I was telling you guys about. That's the long marble countertop right there. And you can get all kind of like cool sweets and treats and all kind of soda fountain stuff. And then they have this whole gift shop area as well. It's this cool uh, alligator right here. Again, if y'all want to pause the video and read a little bit about it, y'all can do that there. And then there's another plaque right there. Y'all can pause the video and read that if y'all are interested in that. They also have some chess and checker games tables here, which is super cool. And uh, just a nice comfy place to kind of relax and lounge while you're, uh, while you're staying here. So definitely recommend this place. Krista mentioned, my wife mentioned that she wants to come back here and stay the night here. We gotta figure out how much this place is because this is super cool. I've never seen a state park as a slot that is locked. A state park with a hotel like built onto the property. If you guys know of any other hotels like that, I would love to know down in the comments below uh, where those are because that'd be some cool travel places for us to go to. If you guys wanna see some of the other state parks that we've been to uh, here in Florida, I'm gonna put a video right there on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated and dad out.